So this is the Z97 Pro Gamer motherboard and we're gonna start from this. This is the serial number, it's quite uh, broken and uh, I didn't use the tripod because I'm gonna move the camera a lot so and this motherboard is like really well for Hackintosh as well uh, I was using it as my Hackintosh and you can see the specs here let me clear it come on zoom yeah you can see and we're gonna unbox it <laughs> So I have already removed the uh, speakers and that tapes from that so it will be make more convenient for making me the video. So here is our motherboard and it's in a um, wrapper to prevent oops, both of the things getting out. So let me turn on the light. Yeah, you have to take it out from side I think. Uh, yeah, you can move it from the sideways. Yeah, here it is. And before we go to motherboard, we should look at the accessories things they give. They give a cardboard, and here down here, we got. I just mistakenly opened it before, not mistakenly, so I don't have to open it in front of you and to. It will be really hard for me to do that one handedly. So, ah, uh, come on, boy. Yeah, and this is quite an Asus slogan that white and black clips, clumps. And you got four of them as a deal. And uh, you got an SLI dual co uh, connector. That will make you. That will make your motherboard and uh, graphic card as well. Oh my days! That will help you get SLI on your two graphic cards. Then you got input output cable uh, with the names of the output and a foam at the back side. You can see the foam and a foam at the back side and. Then we got a DVD which contains all the drivers it requires on Windows 8 and they also work on Windows 10. I've used it. Then we got another cable which is still packed. I didn't unlock, uh, unwrap it. And two of them. There's a difference in both cables. One cable got a straight connector and the other one is at 90 degree and when we got this both cables are straight straight connectors here you can see both cables connectors are straight and then we got the manual how to do everything on this motherboard oh my god and this is really hard for me right now yes you can read it when you get it. I don't want to explain this in this guy. And then we go one more thing which is about the components of the motherboard. Oh, 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 I'm holding it upside down. Yes. So I got motherboard layout and Australia statement notice, India E waste management and handling rule and this and finally finally we'll move to our motherboard we will take it out oh come on relax dude and we will place it on the motherboard box so we got a clear view sorry for this video i will buy a new tripod now yes so I think now the light will work, yeah. So now you can see we got a heatsink and there is a sticker on it. If you want to remove it, you can remove it. If you don't, you don't need to. 
then we go and PCI Express 16 lane then we got an other PCI Express which is 8x and the fourth one is also the 8x a uh, total one we got three PCI one is at x16 bandwidth and the second two are at x8 between them we got three PCI one which oh, PCI one two PCI one and two PCI x16 the express ones are used for graphic card PCI express three of them are used for graphic card if you want to make uh, SLI quad SLI and dual SLI and some and you can also use AMD crossfire on them there are specs written on them and as you can see it's Z97 Pro Gamer and here it is written PCIe Express and we zoom out I'll make an angle so you can see all of it uh, these are the USB connectors and you can use them for USB 3, 3.2.0 output and uh, here you go AF, AFP and this the brown line you're looking at this is the red light name they have given in this motherboard this red light LED represent that they have made the audio output system of the motherboard separate to all the other components in the graphic in the motherboard so to reduce the noise and here oh my god please 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 don't yeah now we see supreme fx this is their new audio output codec for their motherboards and asus said that this is gonna be really nice and as it is on a codex of alc1150 which gives the company's best audio out for with the noise music to noise ratio of around 100 1150 decibels two pc uh, two usb2 and one pc ps2 uh, one spdf out hdmi out dvi out dvii this is not dvi a dvi dual link or the one which sports audio analog output and the other is vga then we go four usb and then we call Intel or 2200 I think 2200 the call they call it killer and then we got 8.1 channel output here 8.1 audio channel output the output from the HDMI is capable of 4k video resolution and then it sports Nvidia SLI AMD Crossfire Windows 8.1 ready we got serial number down here and here we got two more two more heat sinks and this is the they call it anti noise heat sink or zero noise heat sinks because they are just uh bars of heat sinks and they keep the motherboard environment cool and if you touch them you will feel that this is really cold really cool than the motherboard PCB and we got two of them and we got high quality they got 10,000 hours of usage of capacitors there then we got four RAM slots with a new technology a new way of adding the RAMs to the slot one side is locked you just have to uh, add I go a RAM here this one is Samsung and let me show you how to uh, install it so what you have to do you have you don't need to open the other side you just need to open one side and then you have to move your RAM in from this side and right from there once done let me use my right hand yeah it's gonna be tricky for the first time. Oh my god, please, please go. Yeah, look at this. 
one from here and then a boom it goes through just click this one slips in down readily you don't need to do anything and we go our RAM at it now one if you have to remove you have to take it out from here and just take it out then we got our CPU which is for Haswell and for the new generation the fifth generation this for both generations we got 1150 Haswell socket come on light up light up please yeah so let me turn the lights and we're gonna remove it you have to remove this first this boy here it goes we got all our pins and it they are really really reflective so they are gold cold pins and as we know gold is a really good conductor and it don't rust this motherboard got a really nice SATA configuration here you can look at the SATA configuration it got 4 SATA 6 GB 6 GB link and two SATAs are here which are 6 GB link as well but this little one is SATA Express which supports 10 GBPS link speed if you use these both you can't use this one and if you use this one you can't use this one but you do you can use this one every time the details are written over here SATA Express SATA G6 6 represent the link speed and configure then we got an M2 connector as everyone knows M2 is again uh, as fast as SATA the latest M M2s are faster than the SATA Express but I think from here you can see yeah so this is the SATA uh, M2 connector you can add an SSD here for faster performance if it's supposed uh, suppose SATA and M2 as well then we got a very nice function in this motherboard is it, on the start of it detects if any of the hardware is not working properly that's include your CPU and it gives a light here this is the for the CPU light it is for yeah you can see the LED this LED represent if the motherboard uh, if the CPU is working correctly or not and then we go an LED for our RAM here it is it's the DRAM and then we go on an LED for our graphics card VGA LED let me make it visible to you we go a VGA LED and in the end we go an other LED as well I think yeah that's the boot LED this boot LED tells about if your system has been correctly uh, properly if any error occur between any of the component the LED will remain red until the problem is solved and you will not see the boot screen so if for example if you haven't added the CPU and you try to turn the motherboard on the red LED for the CPU will stay on for all of the time and this is they call it five ways of optimizing your system and that's all for the unboxing of Z97 Pro Gamer if you want more videos about motherboard CPU and the rest let me know in the comments below do subscribe for more fun videos for more fun tech videos hope you guys enjoy see you in the very next tutorial Allah Hafiz Thank you.